Hello everybody and welcome to Homeless Man 300 Let's Playing Golden Sun 1 The Broken Seal which is actually its original subtitle in Japan but it was changed when it moved over to the US Now enough with the history let's get playing this game and run into a random encounter with only one monster, so we'll spam the A button and use an attack on everyone. And kill everyone, and you die, and we win, and you die again. Uh, and I burped. And I need to chill out, because I've been drinking a Mountain Dew, and I'm hyper, and I had some coffee this morning. No more sugar for me! Or caffeine! Uh. I'm also doing that thing that's like, you know, people talk about the Let's Player's curse a lot, It, and they say it's like being bad at the game. I don't think so. Oh, what's this? Eh, healing item. Green spot. I used to think that the green spots actually had the monsters on them, so I tried to avoid them. I was dead wrong. It's random battle encounters. They show up anywhere. Except for in this next part. This next part is mainly a puzzle room, so. So there aren't any monsters! Yeah, thankfully, one of the things they do in this game is that they don't put it in the puzzle room. Do, 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 do. This is it! We found it! Clearly, this is the mark of the sun, the heart of Soul Sanctum. Just as I'd imagined, which means those two were telling the truth. Those lying bastards. But what if they had said was true? Then that means that they must have been... They were thieves! They came to rob the Sanctum! Chill out, Garrett. Chill out. Let's hurry back to the village and tell everybody... Creighton, what's the matter? Uh, we're so close. Close? Close to what? We've come all the way to the heart of Soul Sanctum. Turn our backs and leave now. Is something wrong with that? Uh, excuse me. Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to... What do you think? Should we go a little further? Yeah, I guess. I'm, I, I admit, I'm a bit curious. If you put it that way, we don't have much choice. I'm with Creighton. I want to look inside. Really? We'll just go a bit further. Oh, dear God, there are hearts bubbling above his head. Good, it's decided. Let's move ahead. Uh, I have some good voices planned for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, enough with that. Oh. What, what is this room? There's a moon in the center. A picture of Luna? Er, a picture of Luna. This must symbolize night. Yeah, with the whole sunset thing when we were changing from rooms. This room must be connected somehow, don't you think? Well, yeah, there's a hallway right in between them. Luna and Soul. These rooms must hide some secret. What could it be? Why would they hide a secret? It doesn't make sense. You're suspicious of everything. What does it all mean? Isaac, would you look further up the passage? Uh, we haven't even finished exploring this room. Let me know what you find. Uh, crazy old man. Okay. Back into the blue room. Blue, blue. Blue, 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 normal. Okay, enough of that. In here, there's a synergy stone. So, this rib replenishes all your magic or synergy at points, as I call them. I'm not going to say PP. I'm going to say synergy. Because I'm just reluctant to say PP. Even though I'm saying it now. How are we good for health? Everyone's good for health. Now pick up the Synergy Stone, and your Synergy is fully restored. Synergy Stone disappeared! Disappear! 
Ah, quoting again. Okay, so what's in here? Ooh, water. Statues that I can push onto blocks. Let's push them. Ooh, interesting. Shiny. Ooh, shiny! Boom! What? 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 What's happening? Isaac must have found something. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning! Oh my god! Isaac, stop! You're about to make a big mistake! Wait, Isaac! What's wrong, Creighton? This is the most interesting mechanism you've found, Isaac. But this is clearly some kind of trap. Oh, okay. This is a trap? Go look in the Luna room, and you'll understand. Huh. Soul? Luna. Hmm. You've done well. Finding this means you're looking in the right place. But if you just move one, but if you just move one statue, you'll be caught in the sanctum trap. But why would anyone put a trap here anyway? I don't know who did it, but they've hidden something very important, and I know what it is, and you don't, because I've played this game before, and you haven't. Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Actually, you honestly, I, I should have mentioned this in the first episode. I'll do it after this cutscene. Should I tell you more? Yeah, sure. Hmm, honestly, I doubt you could understand it if I explain now. We must try to find a solution to this mystery. Wait, so I ask you to tell me more, and you don't tell me any- Wow! Sheesh, another mystery? I'll keep checking the Lunar Room. You continue exploring the Sanctum. Yeah. He just doesn't want to do any of the work. My intuition tells me that light must be the key to the secret. We should test it. We already did. And we got struck by lightning. Isaac, let's see if we can't figure this out ourselves. Yeah, because Creighton is clearly not going to be any help. Anyway, I forgot to mention this first episode, but if you haven't played this game before, it, there really isn't much interesting in this part, but if you haven't played this game before, go and buy it. I am not kidding you. You must buy this game. Alright, push that over there. Then go on the other side. Yes, this is my, this is my favorite game of all time. Are one of my favorite games. There are games that I like equally. But there's nothing that I like better than this game. Nothing. Alright, now run around. This is pretty obvious. Give you a couple seconds. Ah, I... I oh, wow! I fail at something obvious! They kind of look like a lion's head, but it's not. It's an angel holding up that thing. So magically, we make this hole appear with holograms. Something clicked! And now, we can move the statues. Yeah. If you, have not, if you have not played this game before, and you're watching me play this for the first time, you should go buy it. I'm serious. Turn it off and go buy it. What's happening? We've already seen this. You real... This is, this is one of those games that you really should experience on the first time by yourself. If you need my help, you can come back to this Let's Play, or you can watch it along with what you're with, with while you're playing it. Either way. Creighton! Oh. Ooh. Ah! Excellent work, Isaac. I'm just butchering his voice. Where did that hole come from? Where does it look like it came from? The, gr the floor. When Isaac moved those two statues, two beams of light st shot out of them, and then this hole appeared in the floor. And Isaac dropped the statue into it after that. Hmm. Good work, everyone. What? So the statue puzzle was the trap. And that other statue was here to disarm the trap. Uh, makes sense, I guess. And now that you've disarmed a trap, we should be all right. Alright. The I've observed from the lunar room, where it's safe. You handle the rest. Man, he's so lazy! Why can't he ever do anything by himself? He, he doesn't even ever help you, either. He never helps you. Not even in the second game, when he actually travels around with you. Ah, 
Crap, spoiler. I didn't spoil anything. You didn't hear anything. Oh, God. I'm terrible. I'm a, I'm a terrible person. And then, so, you'll notice if we go back. Actually, let's check over here first. Show you over here. See? Luna over here. Soul is changed to Luna. And we're about to change. We're changing Soul to Luna and Luna to Soul with this magical light. Yay, magical holograms for the win. Oh, oh, cutscene stopped happening before I was able to take a drink. <sighs> ah. Mountain Dew. It's good stuff. Look, Isaac, the picture of Luna changed to soul. Yeah. But other than that, nothing looks different. Nothing looks different. Have you looked in the other room? That's strange. They went to, to, to the trouble of putting a trap here, and this is all that happens? You idiot. Somewhere, something else must have changed. We have to find it. Man, Creighton, for a scholar, you're a real genius. You know that? Look, the symbol on the floor. It changed from Sol to Luna. No! No, really? Surely, there must be something in this room. I'm guessing it has something to do with this laser. Let's check our time. Eleven minutes. I can actually get through most of the prologue in this. Hmm. Press A at this laser. Aha! This has to be it. It's a... Like a puddle of water on the floor. Or the wall. Hmm? Whoa! 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 I wouldn't walk into that if I were you! Wow, some random, like, portal opens. It could be a gateway to hell, for all they know. A one-way gateway to hell. And it... Yeah. For all we know. And... They just jump into it! <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh, I'm doing way better with commentary this time. This time around. What? Where are we? Whoa, his voice emanates through the portal. That is sick. At least we can go back through the awesome-looking gateway. I wish I had a gateway like that in my house. Excuse me. Is that the ocean? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. The earth is flat. No, it couldn't be. The ocean has waves. What is the ocean? Yeah, the, um... Uh, the world of Golden Sun is a is flat. So it's it's not like people believe it's flat and it's just and it's round like our world. No, it's it's actually flat. The ocean is a thing of endless water at the end of the world. You would not understand. Someday I'll show it to you myself. You don't have to. You you friggin don't have to. You know, I I'll see it on my own. Friggin see it on my own. The elemental stars. They really exist. The elemental stars exist. Chill out, Creighton. Chill out. It's not a big deal. You taught us about those element. Those elements are the foundation of all matter. Stones, wood, even us. All things are made from those four elements. Did I get it right, Isaac? Uh, no, you didn't get it right. Yeah, you got it right. Exactly. As I've told you many times, the elements are the source of all matter. Earth, water, fire, and wind. These are the four elements. Legend holds that the four elemental stars contain the purified essence of each element. And there is a fifth element, which must be in the center. And it will activate a giant laser and destroy all evil. Ah, the fifth element. Everyone loves the fifth element. And now those legendary stones are before us. Get out. Excuse me for a moment, people. My sister still does not know the meaning of do not disturb.
Jeez. He's coming just to ask me if I want hot chocolate. Just hot chocolate. That's it. Anyway, the Venus Star, the elemental zone of Earth. And now I have to cough. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Ow. The Mercury Star, possessing the power of water's many forms. There's the Mars Star, glowing red with the fire contained within. And Jupiter Star, bound with the wind's fury. Craden, why are you getting so excited? I screwed up her voice again! How can you be so calm in the face of so such wonders? Dude, it's just a couple rocks that glow. You're looking at the very source of all alchemy! Dude, don't have a stroke or anything. Or, you know, a heart attack from excitement. Haven't I told you all this before? Uh, no. We were busy skipping the last three years of our life. And this must be a lot for you to take in. The Wisdom Stone. The Stone of the Sages. This stone dominates everything. It can transmute crude matter into gold, even thwart death itself. Oh, this this stone is actually a character. I think I know what I'm gonna do for his voice. I know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be badass. You understand now, don't you? Yeah, I get it. The study of alchemy began with the search for this very stone. I don't really get how it works, but they have enormous power, right? Beyond enormous. With a single gem, one could conquer the world. Now perhaps you begin to understand. <laughs> There's a chill running down my spine. Happens every single time. Don't scare us like that, Creighton. I totally thought you were serious. <laughs> Conquering the world. Wow, Garrett, you really are a dumbass. Who can say what the truth is? That's what I've been searching for the elemental stars. I seek to learn the truth about these stones. Ah, uh, uh, slippery! Now they lie before me. Oh! You're too old to be jumping around. Uh, be careful, Creighton. It looks slippery. No, really? But I must examine the elemental stars. Make the boys do it! Ah, Jenna. Oh, I couldn't ask. Would you mind? Yes, I do mind. He'd be glad to get the stones for you, right, Isaac? No! Make, 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 why don't you make Jenna do it? She's, she's more spry. Don't make me ask you again. Would you please do it? All right, woman. Jeez. Jeez! She scares me! <laughs> You'll need this, Isaac. You brought those from your cottage, right, Creighton? Crap, I am butchered her voice again. What are those bags? They're made of woven threads of mithril. Ooh, mithril. That's the only time we actually see mithril. Actually, no, mithril silver appears in the second game. We get to make stuff out of it. I prepared them for just such an occasion. Now, go fetch the elemental stars and put them in those bags. Alright. Just don't make... Don't... Just don't let Jenna yell at me again. Boing, 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 boing. Ah, wait. They should make you go this way. They point you in the direction where you're not supposed to go just yet. Yeah, you have to grab the elemental stars in a certain order. I think it's... Is it this one first? No, not Mercury. It must be... Weird. I would have thought it would be Mercury first, but no, it's Venus. And then I'm guessing. No, it's not Mars n next. Yeah, it's Mercury next. All right. All right. Do -do. I th oh, by the way, er in an earlier video, I asked you to pinpoint what my ringtone was from off my cell phone because you've heard it in the submachine videos that's my ringtone 
It's the item get from Golden Sun. That's how much I love this game. I actually have the one of the fanfares as my ringtone. Or my text message ringtone. Alright, go over there to get... Alright, we have to grab the Jupiter Stone third, and we'll get the Mars Stone last. Now good, go fetch the others. I really hope you guys can hear the music in this game, because the music is just so freaking epic. I mean, I liked the music from Kirby, I was singing along with it, but this music just blows that music out of the water completely. Um, this and Zelda are like my two favorite musics. That that stone looks like it's cursed almost, doesn't it? Hey, what? He's not saying, go, tell me, telling me to go fetch the others. What's wrong? Creighton? You alright? It got silent. Oh my god! Oh my god! It looks like they've spotted us. I thought we'd be safe until they've gotten all the elemental stars. Uh, you, you mean to steal the elemental stars? Master Creighton, are you calling us thieves? As I recall, aren't you the one who stole our information? Huh? What will you do with us once you've got the elemental stars? I'm sure they'll do us in once so they no longer need us. Relax. You will not be hurt. That's only my voice for him for now, because he takes his mask off eventually, and he doesn't, you know, have to talk like that anymore. That was our agreement, was it not? He's all like, I'm Batman. That depends on how well they cooperate. They'll be safe as long as they hand over the elemental stars. Isn't that enough? Hmm. You. You heard us. If you wish to save your friends, then give us the elemental stars. Uh-huh. Oh. Do you accept our terms? Uh... I... Yes. I like Jenna. Jenna's a good character. She doesn't, she doesn't deserve to die. Why would you deny us? Don't you want your friends to be safe? What guarantee do we have once we've given you the elemental stars? Guarantee? Ah, I have one. You have to remove your mask. Like I said, he removes his mask. Th that means... Ah, of course. A fine idea. He will be our guarantee. Under the circumstances, we have little choice. Felix, remove your mask. Wait, did he just say... Wait, what did he just say, Felix? I Isaac? He called that guy Felix. Isn't That's what he said, isn't it? Yeah. You heard it too. Felix. It, it can't be. That day, the boulder. We saw him die, didn't we? Not exactly. We were too busy running from the boulder. And those white flashes. We searched for weeks, but we still couldn't find him. What's wrong, Felix? Don't you want them to feel safe? Bitch. Felix, wasn't that the name of your brother? But that accident, my brother, he... I'll do it. I'll... I'll take off my mask. Click. Oh, it really is, Felix. It's not possible. Is he... I know I've caused you much grief, Jenna. It was a miracle that I survived that day. We are the ones who saved him. We saw him floating unconscious in the river as we passed. I've been with them ever since. I've experienced a lot. But why? Why did you leave me all alone? Oh, Jenna. I feel so bad for her. Jenna. My 
own brother. I thought you were dead. Save this theory reunion for later. That's right. The elemental stars come first. Is this acceptable? Venus would never allow us to harm you. Or his sister. <sighs> Felix will be our guarantee. Now give us the elemental stars. Oh, jeez. After this conversation, I have to call this episode over. We don't have any choice. Should we give them the elemental stars? I don't have any choice. We have to do it. I guess I should take the elemental stars to them. We're about to meet my favorite character. I'm going to use um, something similar to... Uh, to Fool in the Rain 100's uh, chic voice for this. This is Alex. You may recognize my earlier profile picture, which is why I took it down. I may put it back up just for this. Will you permit me to relieve you of those elemental stars? Oh, Alex, you're late. Alex is another of our companions. Hand the stones to him. And he has warp. He has a warp synergy. It's friggin' badass. He's the most epic character in this entire series. Which is not saying a lot, because everyone is epic in this entire series. Oh, great. After we did all that work, and you can warp around and just grab him yourself... Uh... I'm afraid I must apologize in advance. Huh? For you will be bringing us the remaining elemental star as well. Uh... Wait a second. Oh yeah, and he can fly. You want us to grab the other one for you too? Oh, did you not understand me? You said you'd set Jenna free once we gave you the elemental stars. You promised. Hmm. Uh, no, my friend. We want you to bring us all the elemental stars. <laughs> Stop grumbling and bring us the last star. Sure. Whatever keeps them safe. We'll be waiting for the rest. And he just flies over there. Like the badass he is. It's actually not up this way. Don't go this way. Because it's not over here. Or is it? Yeah, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> it is, but it's not. Let's put it that way. Actually... You know what? I'm actually going to leave this off. It'll be a bit of a cliffhanger, but I I don't want to leave you with this huge cliffhanger, but I kind of have to. I'm at 27 minutes right now. I really kind of have to end this right now. So I will save my quest right now. File 1. Um, Bye, folks. Have a great time. And look forward to episode 4 when we finish this terrible cliffhanger that I'm making you go through. <sighs> Bye, guys.